Iconography is important because originally when images started to be used in churches, they were used primarily as a teaching tool. People were illiterate, people weren't able to read, they weren't able to maybe even communicate uh, the important message that the theology of the church would teach or offer. Byzantine uh, technotropy, it's uh, way different uh, the way the Renaissance painters do it. We actually have to make it appear that it's uh, out of the body, it's like it's a spiritual kind of painting and in order to depict this you have to go to two-dimensional painting. So everything has to look two-dimensional but at the same time it has to look that is real. Elongation of the body the fact that our souls, our bodies, should aspire to heaven. They should ascend towards Christ. So the body itself is elongated. They don't really have a body or they don't have material needs. It's all spiritual. The hands are usually large because we have to do the, the work of the church. We have to do the work of Christ. The eyes are larger because we have to see Christ. We have to see the good in other people. The ears and the icons are larger because they hear the word of God. We hear the message of good news that is proclaimed to us. The smallest thing on, on, on any icon, if you look at a face, is the mouth because we should be silent. We should be more focused on our interaction with each other and then also the fact that we should be listening for God's will and God's calling within our lives. You never see fat people or, uh, you know, or passionate people of any kind, you know, you, uh, they're very detached uh, faces. Very dramatic scenes like the crucifixion of Christ, very, very dramatic scene. But Christ himself doesn't have a face of agony or a face of pain. It's a very somber and humble face. And the use of color is very important. Sober colors, we never use uh, vulgar colors. You know. They're not uh, really fleshy, or, but they appear to be fleshy. We care more about uh, the quality of the light that falls on the flesh, this is because this light comes from God. We don't worship the material that the icon is made out of, but we remember the saint, or we remember the uh, event that took place, and it allows us to pray towards that individual or towards God to better our spirituality and our understanding of the faith. Yeah.